hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel this is zamazi traveler all the way from namibia so today guys as you can see i'm sipping the juice so i have something very 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 much special to share with you guys okay guys without um wasting much of your time um i want to take this opportunity to thank my people who have been with me from uh, day one up to today i'm very much grateful for you guys i mean the world to me yeah i just want to thank you guys for we are at 50k subscribers i'm very much grateful guys yeah, that means a lot to me yeah so yeah to my new um uh, subscribers you guys welcome to the family this is Zambezi traveler all the way from namibia yeah i do mostly i do village uh, uh what village um uh, um uh, videos that's uh the, the, the those are the um uh, those are the one that i'm mainly focused on so but today we are going to divert i'm going to give you a little of this juice so i'm going to give you a story time of what happened when i was still back then that was uh 20 20 2017 when i was completing it University of Namibia, at Yuna, yeah, in Katema. Yeah, okay. Um, it was uh, in twenty. Um, it was in twenty um, twenty what twenty seventeen. You guys, that time I was doing my final year at the University of Namibia. Yeah. So I um, I met this other guy. Oh, uh, I'm I met this guy that I was seeing. Um okay, I was in a I was in a very much a very serious relationship and uh, that relationship that I was um it didn't it lasted for that was 2017. I met that person 2014. And uh, we stayed 2014, 15, 17, the year that I was completing, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we st I decided to uh, go our separate ways and then I met this other guy. Yeah, I met this other guy. Mm. Yeah, the guy, um, I'm going to name him as um, Godfrey. Yeah, so I met G Godfrey in 20. Uh, 17 uh, when I was uh, doing my final year at uh, UNAM, University of Namibia. Yeah. And then uh, what happened? Uh, um, we were on a distance relationship. Godfrey was working in Rondo as a, um, as a what? Uh, from Rondo to Katima or from Katima to Rondo, it's over 500 kilometers. Yeah. So we were. We were on a distance. I'm sorry, guys. We were on a distance a relationship. So what happened? Um, it was um, it was in um, August. Yeah, it was August 2017. Uh, that time, I met Godfrey. I think in um, I met Godfrey maybe in July somewhere there. In July, not July. I met Godfrey in August and then September, it's when he decided to come and visit me, to come and see me in Katimaya. Because September, it was his uh, uh, birthday, so he wanted to go to come cere celebrate the birthday in Katima. Yeah. So, what happened? What happened? Uh, we were just uh, talking with uh, uh, with Godfrey just on her video calling each other, um, SMSing, talking just like that as a student. Yeah. So in September, um, he decided to come to Katema to come and celebrate his birthday with his families and of course with me as a new girlfriend. Yeah. 
so he traveled he came to Katima we were very much excited very much happy he did not stay in, in town he went um, straight to his village because his, par his parents stays obviously at the village so he just went straight to the village Mm, that was on a he, he arrived like on a, a Thursday morning he just went straight to the village yeah Thursday I did not see him and then Friday we, he, we, he, we started communicating with him uh, I mean we uh, we spoke that he told me that no once you um, you are done with your classes because you know guys when you're at UNAM um obviously we just have maybe like on a friday we used to have uh, just two lessons like two modules that i'm going to attend yeah two or three yeah so he decided that okay uh, since it, uh, it, uh, it uh, today it's a friday what you are going to do i want you to come to to my to, to my village i want you to come and celebrate the, my birthday party with me oh guys uh, the excitement you know when you are in love guys when you are in love the excitement i was very much excited just for me to go meet up with my boyfriend and the family i was very much excited guys little did i knew <laughs> my guys Oh, okay. I had, um, at that time, I had my refund from you now. You know, when you are a student, obviously, you are given loans. You are given loans um, uh, to pay your tuitions, tuition fee to pay your, your what, your hostel fees. And then there is a little amount of money that you are going to receive once schools school and hostel is uh, they are done paying for school and, and hostel there is certain amount of money that you are going to receive guys i received that refund and the guy knew i told him you know when you are in love obviously you have to share with your partner you have to tell your partner that i have money baby i have received the money little did i knew that mugai wanted to go chop up my money Enjoy my ma as a student, my dear. Okay, it was not a problem for me to to do what to 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 use my transfer money to go see Mugai. I knew that obviously when I come back, my boyfriend is going to do what is going to pay for my transport money. So what I did, I packed my weekend bags and then I went because the guys from the border side. The border between Namibia and Botswana at Ngoma border post. That's where the guy cam is coming from. So the distance from those guys that know from Katima to Ngoma, people, they normally used to pay, I don't know, uh, that time it was a 70, $70 dollars that we were paying. Imagine from campus to town, obviously it's a $13. I paid my $13. When I reached in town, guys, because I want I wanted to go to go and impress my in-laws. Imagine to go and impress my in-law. By that time, I'm still a student. I'm not yet working. I took money that I had as my refund. I went in pick and pay. I bought some few things, grocery, yeah, and then I went. Again, I took a taxi again to drop me at the at the hiking point, which 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 is going to Ngoma. So obviously now I spend almost from campus to pick and pay. It's a thirteen dollars from, uh, from uh, from uh, from from pick and pay to the hiking point. Uh, to Ngoma, it's um, it's 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 thirteen dollars, which is twenty six dollars that I almost used, and then plus the seventy dollars that I'm going to. 70 Namibian dollars, which is just equivalent to, because Namibian dollars is just equivalent to South African rands. So, uh, 13, 13, it's um, 26 dollars, or 26 rand, and then plus the 70 rand, which is almost 100, guys, as a student. 100 dollars, it's too much, it's a lot. You can use that money to buy a few things, few things like in a hundred dollars you can buy your um, a radish you can buy a you could i can i can buy a bright pack of 
of chicken i can buy meat i can buy cooking oil or even sugar or maybe some few cosmetics yeah i used the uh, that was a hundred dollar now for my transportation from compass to pick and pay pick and pay to the hiking point going to ngoma which is just a hundred and then guys my girl was in love i was very much in love with the guy again what did i do I bought food for almost 500 Namibian rand. 500 Namibian dollars, which is almost, which is just the same as 500 rand, guys. I bought uh, bright packs. I bought five kg of, of sugar. I bought um, our snacks with Mugai because you know when you're in love obviously you have to have snacks 500 do plus my hundred dollars is a what it's almost 600 guys happy 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 we drove up to ngoma guys When I arrived there, I stayed for almost calling a guy, texting him. I stayed there for almost two hours, guys, waiting for the guy to arrive to come and take me to, 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 to his place. Before that, guys, eh, Mugai was telling me that when you come here, um, my. Um, my mom is not here, but uh, she will arrive uh, maybe late in the evening. And then you sleep, uh, you are going to sleep at my room, but early morning, I'm going to escort you to the hiking point, maybe past six. And I was like, mm -hmm. obviously that one, it was a red flag for me. I was supposed to know that this guy is not serious with me. I could have realized that, that yes, this is a red flag. This person, maybe I'm not them, they, they what? The main girlfriend. Maybe there is an uh, the main girlfriend. Mm? Mm? Yes, guys. Ah, be careful. I'm dead, guys. I just went to go refill my jar. So. I was uh, I have not been feeling uh, well for the past uh, maybe two weeks and I was diagnosed by the doctor that uh, I'm having anemia yeah I don't have blood in the what in my body so I was advised to eat a lot of things that have iron so that's why I'm drink that's why I'm drinking this. We continue, guys. So, so now I arrived now at Ngoma, and then I stayed. I st I called for I called him. Um, he didn't pick. I texted him. He didn't uh, re respond. Only after two hours, guys, it's when he he what he arrived and started explaining. No. I was busy, was what, 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 a lot of things. Oh, I understood. You know, guys, when you're in love, it's always like that. Whatever your, your guy is telling you, you just have to do what? To, just have to do what? Just have to accept it that, yeah, it's okay. So, yeah, we went there. And then when I arrived there, when I arrived, arrived at the house, um, was very much happy he took the things that i bought in the house yeah and then they are having uh, in their house there is like a small bar they have a bar so they are selling beers uh, some cool drinks so he decided no since um, it's my it's my birthday i want you to 
let's go to our small bar so we sit down and have some few drinks oh i went with him there when i was there he just uh, uh, before that yeah we sat there and um, he started them um, he took my phone and his phone and he left it in the room no we are together now we should not communicate with people guys we should not talk communicate with people we should just it should be just me and you our moment all for stuff i understood oh yeah it's fine when he came back he just went straight into my handbag um straight into my handbag in my wallet and we were seated there um with the the cousin a lady just went straight there in my bag in my in my wallet and then he took he took um he wanted to take money and then the cousin was like no guys because that's not how things should uh, are done you cannot just go in a lady's bag and you are grabbing her bag and taking money from her bag things are not done like that then he understood said oh i'm sorry cousin i do not know that it's like that he said no it's not right you cannot just go in your and i was also very much in uncomfortable but since i was in love guys i was in love very much in love i wouldn't stop him because i wanted to impress him yeah then the mother came he just introduced that mommy this is my friend what put out a lot of things yeah and then we were served with a pup uh, and the meat we ate after eating we stayed for a few maybe for two hours because the cousin was busy selling the cousin was the cousin was busy selling yeah, at their bar so um, no god for said um we'll go out with my cousin i do you have money do you, do, before before i i, I arrived uh, before i i arrived he said uh, um uh, please when i was still in town that one i forgot to tell you guys when i was still in town i was like please uh, make sure you withdraw 400 come with the 400 or come and refund you something like that okay then we went then i went i gave them food and i gave him my 400 guys and then there the bar uh, when we were there the bar i took a 200 because i want to impress imagine a hundred my transport is a hundred dollars i use a hundred dollar for my transport i used the 500 to buy them food i bought i gave him a 400 and then plus um the 200 that i bought some beers at the bar which is 1.2 guys student 1200 maybe in dollars which is in a mid which is 1200 also in the rent guys people who are in love okay fine Sorry guys, um, I have been sick these days. That's why my face is kind of, and I'm having rashes. And the camera, the quality of my camera is also somehow, yeah. So, um, meaning I, on that same day, I just spent 1.2. Now we are going out. He went in the room, and then he grabbed my bag. We are going out, though. Mm. what are we going to drink him imagine it it's his birthday month when you are having birthday here and maybe how they do it they, they double your salary let me give an example if you, you normally used to get maybe ten thousand rand or ten thousand maybe dollars in a month in every month so if you're a government employee and you work for the government if it's your bon birthday month obviously they will double it although you will get 20 you will get 20 thousand so imagine that guy is a nurse he normally used to get overtimes you know that nurses they get overtime and um, it, it was his uh, 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 birthday month so obviously he had a lot of money so he expected me as a student to spend so again 
another 200 from my wallet my wallet guys to go buy some few drinks we went there with um with the with the friend with um the cousin myself him and the other friend the other friend for godfrey who is also a nurse who was dating the cousin so it's couples we went there guys when we arrived there obviously it's uh, drinks the guy did not even use his money guys it was just my 200 so the whole night i was like so i just going to drink 200 i was like ah, i'm not going to spend now i'll just if he take this 200 we are just going to use this 200 only yeah first round he bought he bought for me uh, one can of beer and then we uh, the the cousin and himself and the other guy but the other guy was like he's just he's he, he doesn't drink beer he's used with whole stuff so he drink hennessy and what what and the, luckily the guy had um uh, his own drinks at his room so because it's just um, yeah because the guy um he's working there the, the friend who got free works at the Ngoma put the post there. He's also a nurse. So the guest decided, oh, let me also just quickly go and get my cause with me. James. Okay, I will name the guy as James. James said, okay, let me call me and my my girlfriend just to quickly go get our um, our Hennes. Yeah, so we come and drink us with me. Guys, I'm not used with beer. You want so now imagine with me i just had uh, that one thing because i was already turned off guys i just had that one tin just drinking it but and i was even feeling cold so i just decided to drink that one uh, uh one tin so uh, godfrey and james they started drinking their hennessy uh, they started drinking the hennessy with um mm, jameson yeah yeah so now after that when um we finished we stayed there almost maybe um four hours we went home around it was nice guys because uh, at the border side there obviously those uh, ladies from botswana they normally used to come like to enjoy so obviously it was very much full people were a lot so um, we stayed there for almost four hours and then we went home the next day it was for me now to leave because you know that i'm a student my student have to go back and um prepare my things like wash as you know the student have assignments to do so that the following day i was traveling back to town so now what happened uh, early morning uh, I just said uh, mm, my cousin is going to escort you to the hiking point me I'm I'm not feeling well I'm I'm feeling bad I'm feeling tired imagine your own girlfriend guys your own girlfriend sacrificing using her own transport and she's a student to come and uh, visit you you are saying i'm not going to escort you to the hiking point my cousin is the one who's going to escort you guys guys i should have listened to the lead uh, to the red flags i felt very much bad guys i felt bad i even cried when i was leaving that house i tears were even coming out i was like this guy what did i do to him just went to the cousin uh, escorted me and then um, said no it's fine maybe the person is not feeling well just understand they won't i stayed for almost um, a week guys the guy not even texting me not even to call to find out how did i travel guys he only texted me when he went back to Rondo. He texted me um, after a week. 
in some days i think he texted me I, am i not missed guys what did i do i just blocked his number on whatsapp blocked him on uh, uh, normal um, uh, blocked his contact and blocked him on all social media so from there i didn't even text i didn't even um, bother to text or call that guy that's how it ended guys up to now i did not even uh, talk to the guy so i just want to give uh, an advice to the small kids who are out of there who are who are still studying guys because i started on your school week stay away from boyfriends they will just mess up your your life after messing up your life huh? imagine the 1.2 that i spoiled that i used even 1.2 that we used and then again i transport coming back to town in shame like this very much broke my whole man is finished just to Im- wanting to impress a man who was not even very much seriously you know he just wanted to use my money just to chop my money as a student so i just want to give an advice to um, um, girls who are out of there guys you should be very much careful they are men who are they who are gold diggers who just want to chop ladies money so let's be careful let's just concentrate on our school work for example if you're at university let's just concentrate on our school work guys and then yeah that's my story if you enjoyed this story guys don't forget to like share comment please subscribe i love you so much to the moon and back bye